That's me. Skinny, unhealthy, and addicted to a game called RuneScape. The truth is, I'm a quitter. I've quit on multiple occasions, three times to be exact, over the past two years. That's why there's a little bit of a foundation there, but I'm still very, very skinny. I might be a quitter, but every time I fell, no matter how many times, I always put myself back up. And this time, it will be different. As I got older, a pivotal mindset came out of nowhere. I don't want to be old and look back at what I could have done, what I should have done. Regrets. Nothing could be worse. My health at school and college was absolutely non-existent. It was all about just getting through the day as fast as possible, get home and play RuneScape. For lunch, I'd typically at school have two bread rolls, orange juice and a dessert. For college, I'd nip to Asda and get a bag of cookies or pancakes. That was literally it. Just, well, I didn't even know what it was. It was just not a priority at all. All I wanted to do was play RuneScape, sadly. I mean, it's kind of worked out. I'd do it for a living, by the way, if you didn't already know, which is very, very cool. Th there was comments on how skinny I was. I'm not surprised. I mean, look at my legs. I, I wasn't happy with the way I looked. My skin was awful, lack of sleep, and I knew things had to change. <laughs> Let's just say, um, I think I went a little bit too far. Body dysmorphia is a very real thing. I was on a bulk for over five years. What I saw in the mirror just wasn't good enough. I never, ever felt big enough. I was never satisfied. I literally had digestive problems. I ate that much. Cardio. I don't know, I didn't know what that was. Didn't exist. Kills gains. No thank you. And so I reached yet another pivotal moment in my life after multiple, multiple years. I am big enough and I thought I was healthy. I'm not healthy. And this time, things really do need to change. It is finally time to build the dream physique. And that's what it looks like when you say you're going to do something and actually stick to it. Seven years straight. I can't believe we're here. I literally teased the video literally over six years ago. Some of my subscribers have literally been asking me for years. 
So, um, hope it was worth it. I have a new goal in life, and that is to inspire and motivate as many people as I can to lead a healthier lifestyle. You don't have to start the gym. I just want people to make better choices because I truly believe if you can look after your physical health, you're in a way better place to improve your mental health. I just think we shouldn't take our health for granted. If you want to follow along, I've made a brand new channel. Don't subscribe here unless you want to watch RuneScape videos. The link's in the description. The channel name is called Torvesta along with all my social media. So make sure to follow the journey. I cannot wait. I need to be real with you though. This isn't what I look like all the time. This is me in peak shape under incredible lighting. Lighting makes a stupid amount of difference. It's unbelievable. I have a pump. I'm naturally pale, which is just sadness because tan makes the biggest difference in the world. So I've got fake tan on. And just remember the pictures and the videos people post on social media is what they want you to see. It's their highlights. It's them looking the best. But this is just the beginning. I know what I'm capable of. There is so many things I can improve on. And I hope you can follow along with me. The question is, am I natural or not? I want you to make your own mind up. You shouldn't believe everything you see online. What I've come to learn is that the fitness industry is a very, very sketchy place. And there's a lot of shady people trying to make a lot of money and give young people a false expectation. And it's dangerous. And my goal is to be a role model for especially natural people. I'm natural, but you shouldn't take my word for it. I could be on stuff. You know what I mean? You shouldn't believe me, but hopefully I can build your trust. And once you get to know me, you'll know that being unnatural is the last thing I would do. I don't smoke, never smoked in my life, never taken a drug. I don't drink alcohol and my diet is ridiculously clean. But again, shouldn't take my word for it. Make your own mind up. If you're a fitness influencer, there's a lot of money to be made and you get paid more, the better you look. So there's a bit of an incentive to take stuff. Or just know I will never, ever, 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 ever touch anything. Already made my mind up. Don't care if I make more money. So the guys who are already experienced in the gym, you'll know I'm 100% natural. I'm 5'9", 155 pounds. Been training over seven years. Like, my physique is very, very much attainable. But just remember, genetics pay an absolutely massive part. So don't compare yourself to others because some people just have elite genetics and just will build way more muscle than you way quicker. But I just hope I can be a role model for the, for the people. Keep it real. Just know if you're going to get into this life, the temptation is going to be real. It's literally a cheat code to build muscle. But is it worth it? I mean, that's up to you. You can do whatever you want. It's your life. But I'd advise against them. Basically, every single person on it advises against it too. So, so I've been keeping a secret from you for a while now, and it's finally time to tell you. I'm running a marathon. Not just any marathon. I am running the official London Marathon. I've come a long way from thinking cardio would kill gains, literally never doing cardio, to running over 42 kilometers, 26 miles. One of the most challenging physical but mental battle. How mentally tough are you? For the past three months, I've put myself through some grueling training, all while trying to keep this physique. But the time has finally come. Two days, Sunday the 21st of April, 2024. Every ounce of what I've got will be left out there. No stone will be left unturned. The reason I'm doing it is because I want to raise money for charity, asthma and lung UK. My dad recently was diagnosed with pulmonary fibrosis, which is a rare lung disease. It's a progressive condition with no cure. It's a physical condition scarring of the lungs which means your lung capacity decreases over time my dad's on medication to slow it down and then eventually he'll need oxygen to breathe but he's a, a massive inspiration because you wouldn't think he's got anything he's just getting on with his life he goes on holiday more than me and i'm in my 20s he's still living life 
He's still fit and healthy. The plan is to raise awareness to the disease and raise a lot of money for charity. So the link is in the description. If you can afford to donate, it would be massively appreciated. I really do think we can do a big thing here and impact a lot of people's lives who suffer with asthma and lung conditions. And hopefully, I'll see you at the finish line. I'm not saying everyone should start the gym, by the way. I'd rather you find an exercise we enjoy. It could be anything like football, dance, running, doesn't matter. Because if you hate the gym, then you're most likely going to quit in three months. And that's just not a sustainable lifestyle. You don't have to jump straight into the deep end. I recommend people starting off small because otherwise you're most likely going to quit if you just go from this lifestyle to an absolute extreme. You can simply add in a five minute walk every day or an extra glass of water, you're still better than you was yesterday. You can still be in good shape without going to the gym at all, but if you wanna build a solid muscular physique, I would definitely recommend weight training. You need to get it out of your head that you need to be going five, six times a week, even if you went once per week. Yes, it's gonna be very, very, very slow to build muscle, but you're still better than you are now. But if you wanna optimally build muscle you need to be going three to six times a week personally i go four times a week but i also do running and football as well so technically six times at the end of the day life is going to happen you're going to go through tough periods where you're not feeling so motivated but don't be so hard on yourself just go in a little bit less that week or even go in for a 20 30 minute session like i said anything is better than nothing before you even think about picking up a weight you need to find your reason why what's going to push you through the tough times find something deep from within what is your motivation finally it's time to go to the gym it can be a very daunting place especially if you're insecure about the way you look but i'm here to help you out if you can go with somebody else that's, that's the biggest tip, especially if they know what they're doing as well. If you can afford it, then a personal trainer, even if you just do it for a few months to get you going, find a gym you feel comfortable in. If you can afford it, then I guess you've got more options. And go at a quieter time of day if you can. If you're going at rush hour, then it's going to be absolutely packed and you're not going to feel as comfortable. Or even do home workouts for a little bit, build up your confidence, and then go to the gym. That's what I did. 100% watch YouTube videos and learn how to do the exercise before you go to the gym. Some channels I'd highly recommend are Greg Doucette, Joe Fazer, Joe Delaney, Mike Thurston, Will Tennyson, Jesse James West, Jeff Nippard and Josh Bratt. At the end of the day, every single person in that gym started somewhere. If they've got a problem with you, I think the problem is more on their side than yours. Everyone's in there to better themselves. For the most part, it's a very positive environment. As long as you keep good genetica, then you should be good. Just don't slam the weights down and don't bicep curl on the squat, right? You should be good. Can everyone please warm up? It's not worth injuring yourself. If you get injured, then that's very counterproductive. You could be out for months. Just a few minutes of dynamic stretching, and then I do three sets of light weights before my first working set. Keep it simple. Don't be doing 10 exercises at first. Master a few, then move on. You've got plenty of time. This is one of the most important points of all. Please learn to use correct form. You don't have to use robotic form. I don't recommend that. But just squeeze and a slow eccentric. It's very, very easy, especially at the start, to get ahead of yourself. The strength is increasing every single workout. We've all been there trying one rep maxes. I'm not saying don't do one rep maxes, but please be careful and at least use a spar. These days, I don't do one rep maxes at all. It is just not worth the injury risk. Do exercises you actually enjoy. I don't deadlift and squat anymore. I haven't for years. Um, I mean, I've got a pretty valid reason. I genuinely got hemorrhoids. <laughs> I got hemorrhoids from squatting and deadlifting. You want to train each muscle group ideally twice per week or more depends what split you do and you want to do 10 to 20 sets per muscle group a week and the rep range should be 6 to 15 but most of them should be 8 to 12 rest time about a minute and a half to two minutes if you're doing like big compound exercises like squat deadlift and chest press it can be three to five minutes personally the first two sets of each exercise i almost go to failure i'll leave about one rep in reserve and then the last set for every exercise, I go to failure. And then let's say I'm doing my last exercise for back. On the very last set, I'll do a drop set. That's where you drop the weight and just go to absolute failure. When I look around at the gym, I'm not seeing many people train hard at all. And this is one of my biggest tips. 
truly ask yourself, are you training hard enough? Most of the time, you've got at least one rep out. You'd be surprised at how far away from failure you actually are. The gym split depends on how many days you go and also what you like doing. I started off with a chest triceps, back bicep, legs and shoulders. Then I went to a bro split where you train each muscle group per day per week. At the end of the day, it's up to you, but I do recommend push-pull legs or in my instance, push, pull, push, pull, football running. Workouts should be around the hour mark, sometimes shorter, sometimes longer. If you're gonna take one thing away from this video, progressive overload, track your workouts. I cannot stress this enough. When I go into the gym without a plan, if I'm short on time or whatever, I just don't train as hard. I've been tracking my workout for absolute years. Like this one's from 2019. The idea is the last time you did that workout, you want to improve. You don't necessarily have to go up weight every time. That'll happen at the start, but you can't go up weight every single week. So instead you increase the reps. So here's an example. Let's say I bicep curl 16 kilograms for nine reps, nine reps, 10 reps. Next week, I'm gonna try and get nine reps, 10 reps, 10 reps, and then when I get to 10 reps, 10 reps, 10 reps, I'm going to up the weight and then aim for about eight reps, eight reps, eight reps. The next week, eight, eight, nine, just try and improve every week. But sometimes you might hit a plateau, but there's also other ways to progressive overload, like a slower eccentric and also shorter rest time as well. Try your workouts, people. Abs is basically lowering your body fat. All these six pack shortcuts, get a six pack in two weeks is a load of bollocks. You're basically doing cardio it's the same principle again. You need to be progressively overloading your abs. There's two ab exercises you basically need to do, a hanging crunch and a weighted crunch. Treat your abs just like your other muscles. Load them up. Diet, just as important as the training. I won't go too into depth because we'll be here for another hour. Let's just say my diet is very interesting and I pretty much eat just all whole foods and mostly homemade stuff. I mean, I'm not growing potatoes in the garden, but you know what I mean? I make my own chocolate. <laughs> I make my own bread. Yeah, I'm quite extreme when it comes to this. Everyone thinks eating healthy is boring and miserable, but I absolutely love what I eat. And the way I like to do it is eat good at home. And then if people want to go out for a meal or go to the cinema, then I can eat what I want and not feel guilty about it. But even still, I don't eat fast food. I don't expect you to just all of a sudden start eating like me. Like I said, start off slow. Introduce a little bit of fruit and veg into your diet just like for one meal. Just start off slow and gradually build it up. I don't track calories, but I do think it's really useful to track them for a bit. So then you get to know what you're eating. I just kind of know how much calories it in my food and I weigh myself every day. So then I get an average. I just, yeah. Over time, you just kind of know what you're doing. Try incorporating more whole foods into your diet. Things with one ingredient. The trouble with today's foods is that there is so many hidden calories. Once you actually know what you're buying from the shop, it'll be a lot easier to lose weight. And if you want to gain weight, my biggest tip is liquid calories. Make a bulking smoothie. Biggest game changer. You want to consume 0.8 to 1 gram of protein per pound of body weight. I personally don't need protein because I can get it through my diet alone. The only supplement I take is creatine, 5 grams a day. It works. But at the end of the day, this is all just advice from a RuneScape nerd. But I do hope there is at least something you took from this video. If I motivated one person to make a difference in their life, then that's my mission completed. Like I said earlier, it's crazy what can happen when you actually stick to what you said you were going to do. I'm looking forward to this new chapter in my life. I really hope you can follow along. All my social medias will be in the description and I'll focus on the marathon now. If you can donate, the link is in the description. I'm still going to be raising funds for another two months after the marathon is completed. And that is all. Thanks for watching. Thank you.